The feminine is the receiving energy, but what does this even mean and how do we best do this? Because even though it sounds very simple, it's actually something that a lot of women struggle with and have really big blocks around. So let's talk about the art of receiving. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jills and I talk about things like feminine energy, self-improvement, and wellness for women. So if that's something you want to learn more about, you should absolutely hit that red subscribe button below as well as that notifications bell too so you don't miss when I put out any new videos. So if we want to step more into our feminine side, it's really important that we are able to receive, that we can just lean back sometimes and relax and just receive. If you struggle to receive, whether it's receiving help, receiving compliments, receiving gifts, receiving support, receiving affection, receiving love, whatever it is, if you struggle to receive, then you will always feel blocked from fully tapping into your feminine side. Just as a high level overview though, yes, the masculine is generally more of that giving energy and the feminine is more of that receiving energy, but it's not like the masculine just gives and gives and gives and the feminine does nothing in return. In romantic relationships, there is always an equal give and take. It's just that it can look different between the masculine and the feminine. And honestly, I think the best way to describe it is this. Think about intimacy between a man and a woman, the man being the masculine and the woman being the feminine. The man gives to the feminine and the woman receives. But in that situation, the woman is not just receiving, she is also giving. She is giving herself, she is giving her surrender, she is giving her vulnerability, she is giving her open, loving energy. The masculine tends to give in ways that are a little bit easier to see, a little bit easier to understand, usually more tangible types of things, where the feminine tends to give in slightly more subtle ways, things that are a bit more energetic, slightly more intangible ways. They tend to give in ways like love, compassion, nurturing, and all of those more slightly subtle ways that are still very, very important, but they're just not as easy to see and explain. Now with that said, we can receive from both the masculine and the feminine. This is not just a masculine to feminine thing. We can receive from the masculine, we can receive from the feminine, we can receive from mother earth, we can receive from the universe, we can receive from our higher self. We're not just talking about receiving gifts from a man, although that can definitely be a part of it if you'd like it to be. So if you struggle to receive though, which is probably you if you're watching this video, don't worry, this is a lot of women, then you'll likely experience things like not being able to take a compliment or feeling really stiff and uncomfortable when someone hugs you, if you resist any sort of assistance or help. And when you receive anything that benefits you in some way, instead of making you feel good, it makes you feel a little bit anxious or hesitant. If you cannot allow yourself to fully receive, then yes, that's going to cut you off from your feminine side, but even more more than that, you will likely have a hard time receiving love feeling loved. And that's something that every human being deserves to feel. And if you can comfortably receive, your relationships will improve, your stress levels will improve, and life can get a whole lot easier and a lot more fun. But before I dive into how we can receive better, more comfortably, all of that, I first want to dive into some of the big blocks that I've noticed that stop women from receiving. So first of all, a lack of receiving or an inability to receive will oftentimes, not surprisingly, stem from a feeling of low self-worth or a feeling that they are in some way not deserving. I mean, this one is very simple. If you do not feel that you are worthy of these blessings in your life, whether they're big or small, or if you feel like there is something wrong with you, then you will likely resist it. Now, another big block toward receiving, and honestly, in my opinion, I think these two very much go hand in hand, is if love was conditional for you as a child, meaning if you felt like you only received love when you got good grades or when you looked pretty or when you were just the very best at something, then you will likely struggle to receive as an adult. Because to you, or more specifically to your inner child, receiving, especially receiving love, it usually came with conditions, meaning that if you received love, you must owe them something in return. To your inner child, it feels really uncomfortable to receive something without having done something for it, without having earned it. So this mindset, this perspective, it creates a lot of stress and resistance around receiving. So now that we've covered all that, let's get into how we can start receiving, how we can shift our mindset, all of that. If you wanna start receiving, you have to start practicing on the little things and speaking up about the little things. And the more comfortable you get with the little 
health things, the more normal and natural receiving will become. So when your partner takes out the trash, even though it's totally his job, say thank you. When you receive a compliment from a friend or a coworker, just say thank you, that's so kind. When someone holds the door open for you, say thank you and let them hold it for you. When you need to get something from the top shelf of a store and the man working there is stocking the shelves right next to you, ask for help. When your friend surprises you and brings a coffee when you guys meet up, just say thank you and be appreciative. If you need help opening a jar or carrying something heavy up the stairs, ask your partner kindly for help and express your appreciation and gratitude for that. All of these are so little, but things that you can start doing right now. Let me share a quick little story from a few days ago. So my husband and I were out walking our dogs in our neighborhood and we came back and I opened the door and I accidentally banged my knee super hard against the frame of the door walking in. I don't know how I did that, but I did and it hurt really bad. And whenever I feel pain or stress or any of those like really heavy emotions, I tend to naturally just like go inward. I kind of just like shut down a bit and go inward and pull everything inward. But because of that, I will sometimes struggle to ask for help. And like I said, this was hurting really bad. I hit like a nerve or a tendon or something like that. And I was just like silent. And my husband didn't even know that I was in pain. And I was like, Jillian, speak up, ask for some ice ask for him to help you to the couch. And I did, and he was more than happy to help, but it's just so funny because still to this day, I still have to remind myself to speak up and ask for what I need. Even if it feels uncomfortable or weird or just not natural to you, you can still speak up when you know you need help. Again, start with the little things and just work your way up. Now to get deeper into that receiving mindset, it's really important to be in a constant state of gratitude. And this is a really big one because think about it, if you are always in a constant state of gratitude, then therefore you are always in a constant state of receiving. And this is just an amazing mindfulness practice to have all the time, but if you consistently remain grateful for all of the things in your life, for the roof over your head, for the food you get to cook yourself for dinner, for the sun on your skin, for the birds chirping outside your window, for all of it, then you will always be in a receiving mindset. And this perspective shift is so powerful. To receive as a feminine woman, it doesn't always have to be these big extravagant gestures and gifts, although that can be a part of it. But for the most part, it's about receiving, noticing, Noticing, taking in, being available and open to all of the beautiful things in your life and knowing that there is a never-ending flow of these things. What one person has doesn't take away from you and what one person gives doesn't take away from them. There is always an infinite amount of abundance and love in this world. And when you can truly take this to heart and believe it, then you will naturally be more open and receptive to the good things that come into your life. And when you express gratitude for the little things and get more comfortable with receiving the little things, that's when the bigger things start to come into your life. Just simply shifting your mindset to a state of gratitude will naturally make you a more open and receptive person. To get more comfortable receiving, remember that not everything needs to be or is meant to be transactional. You don't owe someone something just because they did something for you. Sometimes you can just receive. Remember too that the healthy masculine loves to protect and provide. So if you are receiving something from the masculine, whether it's a compliment or a receiving help or a gift or whatever it is, they naturally feel fulfilled just providing it and hearing your joyful appreciation. I mean, definitely express gratitude for those things and be super appreciative, but just because a man or anyone did something for you or helps you in some way or whatnot, it doesn't mean that you owe something in return. Because again, not everything is transactional. Even when women compliment each other, you'll see this all the time where a woman will be like, hello, and then they'll compliment them and that person will feel like they have to compliment back. And that's not to say that you shouldn't compliment other women, <laughs> like you should absolutely do that, sure. But the point is, you know, if someone says, oh, I love your hair today, and you have to say like, oh, I love your shoes, or I love your hair, just to feel comfortable, if you can't just take that compliment, then that's a strong sign that you struggle to receive. If you genuinely just want to share that compliment with that woman back, then great, do it. 
but do you do it because you feel like you have to? Or you might feel like you need to kind of downplay what they're saying if someone says like, oh, you look so beautiful today, and you say, oh, that's because I got a spray tan last night. Or someone says, I love your shoes, and you say, oh, they're old, and I got them on sale somewhere. Oftentimes women just have this thing where we feel like we have to downplay the compliments and things that we receive. It somehow makes us feel more comfortable. And again, nothing is inherently wrong about complimenting a woman back or sharing that you got a spray tan last night. But do you do this because you're uncomfortable receiving? Do you feel like you have to reciprocate in some way to feel comfortable in that situation? Because if so, remember that sometimes you can just receive. Now this kind of leads me to my next point. Because not everything has to be transactional, I think it's helpful to see the good in people and not assume that everyone always wants something in return. It's hard to receive when we think that there must be some catch or when we think that if we receive, it puts us in debt to them or if we receive that they will then have the controlling upper hand over us because that's super stressful. And if you have this mindset, then you absolutely will struggle to receive. Now, of course, sometimes this will not always be true. Sometimes people will have motives for things, but the reality is that it, truthfully, it doesn't matter because you always have free will. You always have your boundaries. And also some motives are more super sweet and genuine while others can be more sinister, right? So if your neighbor brings over cookies because she wants to spend some time with you and chat, like that's a very like more genuine sweet motive. Whereas a man paying for dinner in a movie because he wants a little something something at the end of the night, that's different. But again, you always have your boundaries and just because people want something from you, it doesn't mean that you have to give it. You give when it feels right. You give out of love and compassion and realistically, you probably give a lot because women, we, we naturally do this. But you don't need to give just because someone did something for you and now you need to somehow level up the playing field. I believe that most people on this planet are inherently good. And the thing is, is that the more you think this, the more that you will see it and the more that the universe will show you this. Because again, you know, your thoughts become your reality. Manifestation 101, right? If you believe that there are truly good guys out there, then you will find them. If you believe that money is always flowing your way, then it somehow will. Now, if we want to receive and be open to that receiving energy, sometimes this means that we have to let go of control. What I mean by this is sometimes we resist receiving because we think we can do everything better ourselves, that we need to handle everything ourselves. And sometimes we can do things better ourselves, but this energy completely closes you off from accepting things into your life. It closes you off from accepting help, which everyone needs sometimes and it closes you off from letting the universe work its magic and bring miracles into your life remember that doing it all does not make you more worthy than the next woman doing it all just burns you out. If you can let go of this need to do everything and this need that everything has to happen in the exact way that you want it to happen, then this will allow you to start receiving in ways that bring more joy and ease into your life. And it can also help you to receive what's meant to come into your life too, you know, like for your highest good. Now, if you're struggling to receive, definitely go check out this video, Should You Be Submissive as a Feminine Woman? It sounds like a totally different topic, but it's not. Because submission, which I talk about in this video, at the end of the day, submission is conscious trust and surrender and the ability to receive. The two topics very much go hand in hand, so I highly recommend that you check it out. I will see you over there or I will see you next time. Bye!